So we're going to do a jam in G, C, and mm -hmm. uh, two bars each, yep. and we'll do it with a rhythm. So I'll count it yep. in. Okay. How does that feel? Yeah. Feels okay. Good. One, two, three, four. <laughs> example we've added in a couple of new elements so we have a harmonic structure meaning a group of chords that's repeating in the same pattern and we've added in some rhythm so that our song has a, a, a structure and a framework that's predictable and when you're playing with a duo with someone else this is the beginning of learning how to understand form and where things are going to happen and you build a level of trust with someone else playing duos with uh, with Kenny, uh, we've played together a lot so over many years, so we're very comfortable together. When you're playing with somebody new, these things can take a little while to feel comfortable, but it becomes really exciting once you learn how to trust it. So why don't you explain yeah. a little bit about what, what are the chords that we're playing and for how long? Sure. Well, as you heard me at the beginning of the track, I uh, checked it with the player, my, uh, my friend Todd, before we started to confirm that we knew which, which uh, chords we're going to use. It was the G chord, the one chord, and the C chord, which is the four chord in relation to one. So, do, fa, do, and uh, I counted it in and I, and I explained to him that I would do two bars of the one chord and two bars of the four chord, two bars of G, two bars of C. <clears throat> so, uh, then I felt the tempo first, and then I asked him, how does that feel for you? And he felt good too. So that's something you can do with your friends when you're improvising too. If, if, so, if you felt like someone was going a little too fast, uh, you know, and you weren't going to be able to keep up with thinking about which notes you were going to use for your chord, then, you know, say a bit slower and the person will slow it down and you can go from there. Uh, sometimes when you're starting to, to get to immediate intermediate level and working from chord to chord, um, again, that panic feeling can, can, can crop up because you, you're afraid you'll, you'll not hit the, the next chord at the right time. So just take the breath, you know, and relax yourself and, 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 and think about just, uh, if you're playing the wind instrument, you know, you just have to just blow a note. A lot of the notes of the scale will sound great over whichever chord you're playing. So I found playing saxophone is a very freeing kind of thing. Whereas a piano player, you have to really be in charge of making sure that your fingers switch on the right time. So when I started learning how to play structures, I would often use the damper pedal uh, quite a lot. So I could just play my G chord and take my hands off right away. So right away they can start finding where the next chord is while the sound still is there. So I, And I'm making sure that I count as well so that I'm not going to get lost on the track. So the piano player's job in the rhythm section is really to make sure that you're providing, laying those tracks steady so that the melody players can, can play, the, play on the melody track. So one, two, my hands are ready to switch, and five and six, and they're ready in place, and then two, now they're just with one chord, they're getting ready to lift the pedal, and now I lift and press it down, pedal is taking care of the chord. Now maybe I want to work on my inversions. So as you get, if you're at a, a higher intermediate level, you know, once you've got the, the pedal down, you can start to practice your inversions that go up and that helps and give the music a, a sense of space that you're expanding the, the landscape and that inspires the horn players to, to, to stretch themselves. So it's kind of like doing a workout. It's really like having a workout buddy playing yeah, music together. It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, going to the gym is hard, but when I have someone else to go with, it's like, yeah, we can give each other feedback and stuff. Yeah. So learning, I find, does accelerate a lot more once you start to jam, even though it's hard at first, you know, go for it. Yeah. And another 
another step you can take kind of before you add in the rhythm, if you're having trouble keeping it locked together with two bars at a time, for example, is, is to play freely but with the two chords in mind. So we're going to do that really quickly where we're, we know that there's going to be two chords and again on the saxophone we're in a different key so I'm going to be playing A and D and but instead of counting we're just going to play it and we're going to kind of cue each other. Yeah. So in this example we'll do two short ones. In this example you're going to be cueing me when we're going to switch chords. Sure. And then we'll stop and then I'll do one where I'm cueing you. All so right. So here we go and I'm watching Kenny. And I'm relaxed because I'm breathing. <laughs> Closer to having the rhythm, and that we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch uh, faster. So, how, okay. so we're gonna. Have a little, so I'm gonna follow you. You're now? gonna follow me. Yeah. All right. So. One thing I realize that I'm doing that I'd like to mention is that uh, playing with a wind instrument as a piano player really reminds me that the, I've got to breathe rhythmically as well, not just breaths for relaxation, you know, that, that, that's important too, but um, that uh, when, when uh, Todd was uh, going to switch the chord, he has to take a breath. So I was breathing with him and that's when my damper pedal comes up. So you heard that little silence of breath that I put into my piano. That, that makes the music sound even more like we're professionals. So I'm playing a little tremolo to breathe the bass, and I'm watching him, and then he goes, and that's when I took my damper off, and that creates a real, a moments of silence in music when you learn, when are, are golden, you know, when, mm -hmm. when you learn to, to get together with your friends, and, and uh, for piano players and drummers and bass players, guitar, all the rhythm section players that don't have to blow, it's really great if you can if you can um, learn to do that breathing as well. Keep your eyes on your horn players and your singers as well. This is the same for any lung instrument. <laughs> 